Daily Wire, I'm Miriam Gonzalez, and we're here tonight at the Celebrity Catwalk where Hollywood celebs came out to strut their stuff on the runway for charity. Tell us a little bit about the line that you've created. This is one of the pieces. Um, I made this out of an old dress that I found in a charity shop made it into a skirt and used a satin comma band um, to do the waistline. I've done a menswear and a women's wear collection. It's all recycled clothing from charity shops so that they get a lot of money, mainly sort of animal welfare charity shops, but then anywhere we can. And it's to show people you don't have to buy high-end fashion, waste your money and create more landfill in the world. And you can just take great pieces that are all out there and get them remodeled and recycled. So I'm just testing the waters tonight to see what the response to the collection is and to see if people are really eco-conscious and they want to go out and buy things that are not going to harm the planet. Hey, how are you? Good. We're here with Bridget Marco, one of the girls, fabulous girls next door. And you also had that great travel show. Tell us, why are you here tonight? Well, I know you're hosting tonight. I am hosting tonight, and I think it's for a very good cause. Um, the National Animal Rescue, I think, is an amazing thing. Six to eight animal, eight, six to eight million animals go into the shelters every year, and I just think it's so important to not only look into adoption, but spay and neutering, most importantly. Yeah. So you have a couple of little ones. You've got a cat and a dog. Have you added any more to your collection since you've left the big house? Um, I haven't added any more, except for uh, Nick moved in with me, so that's a furry animal as well. <laughs> And then um, he also has a cat named Vern, who hasn't moved in with us yet, but is about to. Oh, exciting. Now, what is your number one, like, what's your fashion style? Um, I'm very girly, and I love, I love pink and ruffles, of course, but I also love to wear just a pair of raggedy jean shorts and a t-shirt or a tank top, some flip-flops. Now, what's your number one rule when it comes to fashion? Um, you know, I don't have any rules. I love to theme, and I feel like anything goes. He's always questioning my fashion, so <laughs> I guess I don't have very many rules. I love rhinestones. I love pink. I love to be girly. I love to be dressed up. I just don't like to be underdressed for any occasion. I'd rather be overdressed than underdressed. Well, you look fabulous tonight, and thanks for taking a minute to chat with me. Thank See you. Later. you out here tonight? Um, I'm here just to support. Um, I have lots of animals and my sister is a veterinary technician and so we take in animals all the time and kind of rehabilitate them to give them to good owners and so anything involved with animal rescue or rehabilitation I would love to be involved with. That's why I'm here and uh, and I love pretending like I'm a model. Um, all five five of me so it's exciting you know to be up there with with like really cool stars that I idolize as well. Fantastic. Now, do you know what designers you're wearing this evening? Yeah, I'm wearing a, La a LaRock dress and then a couple other designers, and I will find those out later. <laughs> Fabulous. Now, do you have uh, a fashion, like what's your number one fashion sense? My number one fashion sense is if it's pretty, funk it up. Just like this dress. It's poofy and it looks a little like prom dress, but you just got to put some studs and black with it and make it rocker. standing here with Maya. Maya, tell us why you're here this evening. I'm here obviously for animal activism, but to raise awareness and hopefully funds to dedicating to organizations that are all about this cause. I'm an animal lover and owner, and I have five animals with a new addition to the family. Her name is Journey, but they provide me with so much balance and I'm going to say peace of mind in my life, and that's who I go back to. You know, I don't have any kids yet, but honestly, I, ha I owe my life to animals because they keep me from a psychiatrist's bill.